Alrighty, let's get right into this here. As of the time of this recording, Brian has now 70.2k followers. I believe Brian is about to be growing very rapidly fast. And... Looks like Brian has started to answer some questions, so I have to scroll all the way down to see where it leads up so that we can start the video from there. And then we'll go to the questions that Brian has answered to people. So, after this uh, short brief statement from Brian 17 hours ago they added later on other side note this is the only official account that said anyone using Brian as a name is not official then it goes on Brian goes on to tweet, note, any website with the name Brian is not official. Then they tweeted eight hours ago, which says, while well, can't confirm who we've been, we have been talking to, to make a new home on Brian. Don't rely on follows. We can confirm that we are not Spotify, Google, or anyone else else that's known by the industry. And that is something we believe in and are passionate about. Yeah, see, I believe them because there were some speculations that people think that Brian is owned by Spotify and people still think that Spotify is owned by Google, but if you checked the history from 2014, um, there were there was no indication that Google said that they brought Spotify. So I likely knew that Google never brought Spotify because how could they brought Spotify if I never heard about that? In like the last four years. And I don't know why people still think that Spotify is a Google company when when they are when in reality they are not. And I don't think Spotify was brought by Brian. If you didn't know, Brian was actually created by a soon to be former Mixer streamer by the time Mixer uh, gets shut down in July 22nd. I mean, if you don't know the history of this account and who actually made it, you need to scroll all the way back down and look for yourselves. They tweeted four hours ago, Q&A, Fred starts later today and they proceeded to tweet take notice take notice dreaming is changing then they go to the questions what is Brian it's a code name based on a history of two names that were once a stream service so that would be Twitch Prime and Beam, which Beam used to be, which Beam happened to be Mixer. After Microsoft brought Beam, Beam changed its name to Mixer. And also, the 
also the uh, other part of the name is tw is Twitch Prime or Amazon Prime, which would make sense of the two names that are combined together called uh, Prime. So Bean plus Twitch or Amazon Prime equals Prime. What is your punishment for abusing animals? We do not endorse the mistreatment of animals of any kind. Yeah. See? They do not endorse it. No. And no other site like YouTube endorses animal abuse either. Not even Twitch. So that is one thing to think about. Do you have any websites donating to other accounts under Brian? No. As said earlier yesterday, this is a code name. And two hours ago, they treated, side note, we are answering questions people ask. We believe in open dialogue and transparency and community engagement. Then there's, then this question came up. Who is joining Brian? While we want to share this, we can't. We have talked to streamers of other platforms that show interest and maybe moving into the platform on their own terms when agreements are made. More on this later. What are you going to do for the people that struggle for viewers? Our aim at this time is to focus more into ideas that will provide a more broader approach to the platform. With this in mind, a rotational servicing of featured streams. Is it? Is this real? Yes. You have the proper framework and RTMP. We are working on some, with some great web developments that already existed on this using many services, including WebRTC. It's a bit broad and complex. And then they tweeted out that Twitter needs an edit faction, which we've been saying this for a long time, but they never came up with that. It's been at least almost six years since. How many people work for Brian? Four. Will you allow other content on Brian, Avian, and gaming? Yes, like most sites. But this would be heavily moderate. Okay, so they might be moder heavily moderated towards gaming or other stuff. Most likely gaming because they are a gaming platform after all. Then they tweeted, are you hiring? They tweeted the question says, that says, are you hiring? And then the answer is yes. But at this time, we are not sharing the jobs page till launch. Then Brian tweeted, which might be a question, what makes you sure you won't end up like another platform previously? We don't, but we are dedicated and passionate to build a platform that is free of sexual harassment cases, toxicity, and be better at fostering communities compared to most brands. 
Then another question that was tweeted, and they have the answer. Will you allow or have custom chat emotes? The answer is yes. Most common sites you'll find at other platforms. Yeah, like uh, Twitch or YouTube specifically. And they continue so far with this question by saying what is something that you have learned since Twitter, this Twitter account has blown up without a site and anything else. Then they have the answer, which says, doubt the naysayers. Most people will do anything to ruin something good that people are trying to create. Yeah, see? I'm that type of person who really likes to not see or accept the negativity responses right away because negativity responses are most likely people who doubt for no reason about actually taking their time to give the site a chance before actually speaking out about it. And there might be a question that is tr that has been treated, which says, is this a genuine project? Yes. And then another, and then another uh, tweeted, how did this happen? Not sure. And... You know, I think that's that. Brian answered some questions that uh, cleared some things up. I know this is probably just a one-fourth of these questions, so it's probably not over right now. So, Brian still has plenty more questions to answer later. But, um, when they do answer more questions, I'll be able to bring you another video. If, uh, if any of these questions happen to address anything else. But, my question to Brian is... By the time the site's ready, when will Brian be open? That's the question I want to know right away when they uh, get to that. Because it's pretty exciting to see, and I am willing to check this site out. myself because I think that site might be actually delivering its promises in my opinion and by the time that uh, th this question of faith comes true then I'd be ha actually happy to see what where this site can go in the near future. I'll have a video on what on what is Brian um, by the time they release the site. So that way. I can give you the history behind the announcement of the of of making Brian and the journey 
of how Ryan will most likely become of the real deal. Just as soon as they posted a link, of course, I will have that video, video made. Hopefully shortly or in like the next 24 to uh, 72 hours, depending on when they will make the site. Anyway, yeah, that's just about it.